Here's a Samsung Galaxy S6 tip for you. I'm going to show you how to use Do Not Disturb. Now if we open up our settings, we'll swipe down, come into the settings, and then we're going to come over to our device, and then go to sounds and notifications. Here we can see down underneath the notifications tab, we have Do Not Disturb. Go ahead and tap in here. What Do Not Disturb does is it's going to silence all calls and alerts, and we can allow exceptions if we wanted to. This is going to come in handy if you don't want your phone to light up, vibrate, or make a sound while you're trying to sleep. Because after all, you're trying to sleep and get that much needed rest. So the way that you're going to do this is flick this on. Now you see this is just on. There's no exceptions. There's no rules. It's just on. Now what we can also do is come in here and allow exceptions. So right now these exceptions are going to be if I set an alarm, so if you use your phone as an alarm clock, it'll still vibrate, wake up, and buzz, make all the noises for your alarms. I'm going to get calls and messages, but notice that calls and or messages from down here I can toggle that to favorite contacts and to contacts only. So if I've set up some favorites, say my closest friends and a few of my family members or all of my family, I can have those people call. So even if my phone's in Do Not Disturb, my favorites and contacts will be allowed to reach me. So that might be my phone will vibrate, it'll light up, it'll buzz, make all the sounds, as long as they're in my favorites. And then I can also allow the calendar events and personal reminders to wake up my phone from a Do Not Disturb. If I don't want any exceptions, toggle that off. And now, no matter what happens, even if they're in your favorites, they're not going to be able to get a hold of you. So your phone is just going to still receive the call. So if someone were to call you or text message you, it's still going to come to your device. It's just not going to make any noises or buzz or turn your screen on. Now if we turn this on, let's go ahead and allow some exceptions. I'm going to come back in here, but I'm actually going to set a schedule. So you see that Do Not Disturb is automatically going to turn on on a schedule. It's been toggled off and my schedule is now set. So I'm going to tap on days and these are the days that I want Do Not Disturb to toggle. Currently I have it set Monday through Friday, I can tap every day, or go and tap every day again and tap which days you want it to go. So you can have as little as one day and you can have all of them. So I'll leave it on every day for now. We'll come back in here and we have a start and end time. So start time, maybe uh, I would suggest maybe a time about that you're going to go to bed. So 9 p.m. is roughly a good time. You can even go ahead and set it to 10, and you can even go down to the minutes too. So you can have it start at 9.45 if you wanted to. So here's 9.45, we'll tap done. Now when do I want it to end? I usually suggest ending this before you're about ready to head out the door in the morning to go to work. That way if you happen to be in the car on the way to work or anything, you still get all those notifications. So I typically leave my house around 7 in the morning. But you can also toggle it down, again, anytime you want to. So if you wanted it right when you woke up, maybe at 6 o'clock, tap 6 o'clock, tap done. Now what this is going to do is your phone is automatically going to enter Do Not Disturb Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so the entire week, and it's going to start at 9.45 p.m., and it's going to end at 6 a.m. the next day. And we have our exceptions. We have our exceptions on. So it's going to allow exceptions, and it has a set schedule. Now this is really handy because it's not, again, it's not going to vibrate or buzz. You'll still get all the notifications coming through, so if you get a text message or a phone call, it'll still show up as a missed call, but your phone is not going to light up or vibrate or make a sound. So Do Not Disturb is going to be really handy in making sure that you get the rest that you need.